So I think we've known for a long time that follicular lymphoma is a very heterogeneous disease, mm -hmm. that most patients with follicular lymphoma actually do well, but there's a subset of patients who do less well. But the challenge has been how to identify who this subset is. And what this study does is uh, very clearly shows and I think highlights that there is this high-risk group and that the high-risk group, high group can best be characterized as the group of patients who progress uh, at within two years of standard chemoimmunotherapy. And if you're in that group, you only have about a 50% chance of surviving for the next five years. So this is an important issue. I think our ultimate goal clearly is to identify who these patients are at diagnosis. Um, at present, our study does not really help that very much. Uh, it, our study really indicated that if you relapsed or had disease progression within two years of treatment, then you're in the high risk scenario. So I think for today, right now, we know that those patients should be treated differently, probably should be referred to a center for either experimental therapy or consideration of aggressive treatments like high dose therapy and autologous stem cell transplant. However, in the future, we're gonna be able to use this knowledge to allow us to hopefully identify biomarkers that will allow us to identify the patients up front. And we already have plans to do this through the National Clinical Trials Network.